prior to doing the work with the road map, I was working on a series where I was redrawing every line on the surface of my body. Fingerprints, footprints, the wrinkles around my eyes. Um, and in the midst of that project, I stumbled across a box of used road maps. And when looking at the map, I instantly had an inspiration moment where I saw something very human within the lines of the road map itself. You know, kind of the, the rivers and the roadways kind of mimic the lines that not only cover the surface of our bodies, but also our internal makings, such as veins and arteries, the things that make us alive and human. To make the works, what I do is I basically dissect the roadmap for only the lines. So I'll use a tiny X-Acto blade and cut away piece by piece all of the land masses, leaving only the roads and rivers behind. Um, and in the end, it kind of creates this delicate, lacy structure. The people that I'm representing in these pieces are, the places are very important to those people specifically. So when I use myself as a model, for example, in this work, um, I'm using a place that is important to myself, part of my own history and my own journey, a place that has an impact on who I am as a person today. So this one, for example, is of New York City, which, or New York in general, which is where I was born. Um, so it's an important part of my, my story and my journey. I also work with friends, family members to create individual portraits where I'll you know, talk to a person, I'll interview them about which place they feel uh, best represents who they are as a person. So I'll you know, take their photo and then make their portrait out of that place. So for example, um, so San Francisco, which is where this, this girl here was born, or Brooklyn, New York, um, Detroit, Michigan, it's often the places where people have started and began their life journey.